honours even between Middlesex and Glamorgan as Rain curtails contest. Rain in Radlett dominated day three, a premature end brought about by the inclement weather. And the overhead conditions would dominate day four as well. Glamorgan resumed on 274 for nine, trailing their hosts by 136 runs with just that one wicket in hand. They looked to move the score on quickly. Wag plundered the impressive Finn for successive boundaries, but his innings didn't last much longer. Helm would be the man to get him. The Glamorgan number eight went for a big shot off a short delivery, but could only find Gubbins at deep square leg, departing for 48. Finn had been the pick of the bowlers, picking up five for 75. Despite a smattering of half centuries, Glamorgan still couldn't get close to Middlesex's mammoth first innings total. But with time running out, they knew defeat was far from certain. The maths for Middlesex was simple, back quickly and hoped to have enough time to bowl Glamorgan out a second time. Eskenazi and Robson set about their task, putting on 42 before Eskenazi was caught at point off the bowling of van der Guten, trying to force one over the offside. Cubbins would pick up the baton and began to force the issue, scoring at a runner ball. Robson fell just before lunch. Unable to get all of a short ball, he only succeeded in finding Hemphrey at deep mid-wicket to go for 36. 82 for two at lunch, but the rain in the air threatened to derail a good start to their second innings. The resumption saw Gubbins pick up where he'd left off and he looked to score as quickly as possible, but that enthusiasm would be his undoing. An attempted reverse sweep to a straight one from Labuschagne failed to connect and he'd depart trapped LBW for 36. Milan and Sterling took Middlesex past 100, but their partnership was brought to an end by Delanger, Milan prodding at a short ball and caught behind for 18. And it was then the rain that finally put pay to any Middlesex hopes of forcing an unlikely win. An initial short delay becoming a prolonged one. And with time running out, no let up in the deluge, both captains shook hands on a draw. A frustrating outcome for Middlesex, who'd been heading for a declaration in the end. They had to settle for a fourth draw this term, 12 points going to the hosts, whilst Glamorgan remain unbeaten and in second place in the table after taking nine.